Hello, Northwood fans. It's signing day, 2017. I'm Travis McCurdy, joined now by the head football coach, Leonard Haynes, and Coach Haynes. Give us your general thoughts on the uh, class this year. Hey, we're very excited about this class, and um, we we're happy we got some bigs now. We got some bigs up front. We want to continue with that tradition and building this uh, baby from inside out. And so uh, from the offensive line standpoint, we, we have signed about six young men. And from the defensive line, we got about four defensive linemen that we're very excited about. But that's our philosophy is just building this baby from inside out. Yeah, the last couple of years, especially, it's been very heavy on the lines. But, I mean, obviously – that's an area where we need to get better, and we have done that the last couple of years. Yes, we have some young young talent here right now, and some guys with some some game time experience, uh, some redshirt freshmen that wind up playing uh, on that offensive line and defensive line. So I think going forward now, it's going to be a very competitive group, and I think we did well, like I said, with some recruiting some of the guys right now and bringing them in, and um, I think it's just going to step that up a little bit. Looking at your team from last year coming into this year, a lot of young faces on offense, but there were a lot of veterans on defense. So you got a lot of guys on defense that I know your old recruiting places classes need to replace. But I also saw there's a lot of faces on the defense on this rec recruiting class as well. Yeah, our focus is to definitely try to fill, fulfill some of those spots from the defensive side. Um, you know, we lost Mike Fisher, great linebacker. So someone's going to have to step up, you know, that old adage, the next man up type deal. And and but we got some young guys in the fold there that'll be going through spring ball. But we brought some um, some good linebackers in that we believe that's going to be able to help us. You know, we got a young man out of UAD Jesuit uh, by the name of McNamara, uh, Brian McNamara, who we think can come in and, and compete uh, at for that spot. And um, so the expectation is going to be high for him. But the back end, we lost a lot of DBs, so we got to replace a lot of guys in the secondary. And um, so we think we fulfilled a lot of those needs. Any other areas in particular that you're really you're satisfied with this group that you were looking? We obviously talked about the lines and some of the defensive backs and linebackers. Anything else you were looking for to really replenish in this class? Yeah, we wanted to bring in another quarterback. You know, we, I think you for what we do offensively, we have to have a, you know, a couple quarterbacks and also our, our slot position, you know, what we also call it's the wingbacks. You know, that's kind of the strength of our, our uh, offense as well for what we do with the triple option. And so we wanted to bring uh, some good guys in here, some talented uh, slot back type guys that can come in and add to our depth. At our level, recruiting never ends, and I know you guys are going to be looking to add more and more players, even though this is signing day throughout the rest of the fall. Are there any other areas you're looking to add from here on out? Well, yeah, it's got a, we got a couple of positions we need to fulfill yet, and um, you know, and mainly uh, defensive end is one of them, and so we'll we'll probably. Uh, take our talents to Florida <laughs> and see if we can find some guys down there. We have a few connections down there and um, to see if we can round uh, this uh, class out. And you got went out of state again. You've got a couple of kids from out of state, and Florida's always been a good pipeline. So really this this period generally in the past has been, this has been about the Michigan kids mm -hmm. with some sprinkled in from out of state. But from here on out, there's going to be a lot of out of state additions. Yeah, and uh, we've gotten out of state a, a, a lot earlier now, a lot sooner. You know, we pulled some kids from Georgia obviously from Florida, and we, we kind of look all over the place where we can find kids. And uh, just because Division Two here in Michigan is pretty saturated, and in Ohio for that matter, it's pretty saturated. So we need to go some different places to find some uh, some talented kids. And uh, we did that uh, in, in fulfilling uh, some needs. Uh, we did that with the Georgia kids, and uh, also we got a couple Florida kids as well. Looking forward a little bit ahead. To, you got spring ball in a few weeks here coming on up. What do you uh, – What's the big thing you want to accomplish in spring ball this season? Well, one thing we got to do just learn from last season. We got to be able to team that we have to be a team that be able to finish, and um, we're going to compete throughout spring ball. I'm just excited about this group of guys. These young men are pretty excited. Uh, they're ready to get going. You know, they're lifting four times a week right now, so we're pretty excited. It's what we see. You know, there's a lot of positive energy around here now, and um, and that's what our goal is to have positive energy and go to work and hey, see how it all pans out. Well, Coach, signing day is always exciting, and uh, congratulations on a great class, and uh, good luck with further recruiting coming ahead. Thank you, Travis.